July 2018. I'm messy. Um, yesterday I went up to the Medway Maritime Hospital, which is in Gillingham, Kent, United Kingdom, for an 11.30 appointment at the Neurosciences Department um, because of my trimenal neuralgia. So I walked from my place to the hospital over the Lines Park in Gillingham. I was half an hour early. The lady explained to me just because I was early, I wasn't going to get seen early, and in fact, I was seen late. I had to sit and hear. It was mainly older people of 60 and over. Uh, there was an old lady sat in front of me, talking on the phone, saying, "Hello, mate." Um, talking, having a conversation on the phone. Um, a lot of older gentlemen, and um, needless to say, I just sat there and waited for my appointment. Eventually, a woman came out, a Polish lady, called me into a room, asked me where the pain was, and said she was putting me on these Epilim 100 milligram crushable tablets, sodium valparate which if you read the box, it's, um, it, it says, Warning for women and girls. This medicine can seriously harm an unborn baby. Always use effective contraception during treatment. If you are thinking about becoming pregnant or you become pregnant, talk to your doctor straight away. So it's really more epilepsy tablets which calm the brain down and it also mentions mental health illness in here. Um, I'm really not sure about these tablets at the moment. I'm supposed to take six tablets a day. Um, she told me not to take Cocodamol because they give you headaches. She felt my neck and said yes it's swollen and it's going to put me forward for an ultrasound scan of my neck. Um, I walked away, um, it's still in pain. She'd asked me what causes the pain and I felt that everybody was listening. Um, it felt like, it felt unreal. It felt like a TV program where everyone was listening to what I was saying caused the pain, which was strong smells, noises, and people like shouting in my ear because I said my ear hurt. So I went, I'd already encountered a man mowing the grass on the way to the hospital and people wearing strong aftershave. Um, so I got out of there and um, it just felt that everyone had heard the conversation because of the smells. I went into Gillingham High Street after the hospital, I'd had a tuna sandwich and a Hors Licks Polish chocolate wafer bar because I had, I had to wait in the pharmacy for two hours to get my medication and a lady with a, a, a higher number than me got her medication before me, which annoyed me. But I, I just sat there for two hours quietly, minding my own business. People on the phone next to me, hello Tracy, how you doing? And all that kind of bollocks. And um, I was watching people in the coffee shop eating their pasta, eating their sandwiches. Someone mentioned a Nicole, which is my son's ex-girlfriend. So I, I, I said I went to the Dilling of High Street after the hospital and these guys were play fighting and one of them kicked his mate as I was walking past playfully um, and it wasn't very nice. It was like everyone wanted to pull my eyes out for some reason. Um, I didn't enjoy yesterday at all. Um, I went into Gillingham Library and that was really, really quiet. A couple of regulars from Chatham Library were in there, a bald man with glasses talking to his friends and um, I just came home after that really, after getting a few bits. Um, 
and um, just the usual, stayed by myself um, all evening. Um, but my life seems like it's a soap opera. I'm sorry, but it does. Um, uh, the number plate on the ambulance was OGS, O G S. And I'm sick and tired of it. I mean, if someone can just bang out an ambulance um, number plate like that, then I find it a total waste of money. Um, to give the money to the poor and the fucking money for exclusive number plates making a fool out of me. A um, couple of women nearly holding hands um, in front of me. Um, no, thank you. Um, my neighbour has gone out this morning, uh, followed by a resounding woof! Normally I would shout and scream at myself in my flat for having a horrible day yesterday but I'm now venting on YouTube and keeping my thoughts to myself in my head where they belong which is nobody else's business. It's um, the anniversary of my sister dying this year. She would have been 43 today. It's not a day where I want to go around thumping things screaming, tearing cars up and acting like a maniac. We should show some respect to the dead.